A small town in Norway is lighting up with excitement this morning. Rukon is tucked in a narrow valley, and it never gets any direct sunlight in the winter. But that changes today. Mark Phillips watches they threw the switch on the world's largest solar mirrors. Mark, you get all the good stuff. Good morning to you. Good morning, Gail, Nora, Charlie. Well, we're standing here in the glorious sunshine in the middle of Norway. Well, actually, the reflected glorious sunshine. And let me show you something. Way up there on the mountainside, you can see what is actually a series of mirrors reflecting the sun down into the little town of Ruhan. Nature has not provided sunlight, but modern engineering has. But it's taken them a hundred years. The mountains of Norway are a good place to generate hydroelectricity, but this far north and in valleys this steep, they're not a good place to get a suntan in the wintertime. For six months of the year, beginning in October, the sun is so low in the sky, it never reaches the valley floor where the town is. The founder of the town, a four-sided industrialist named Sam Ida, recognized the problem and put in a cable car to take the residents up the hillside and into the sunlight to keep them from getting a terminal case of cabin fever during the long, dark winter. Even with Norwegian stoicism, Karen Rowe, who runs the tourism authority here, says it could be a tough place to live. If people get sun, they will be more healthy and they will work better. And if they get shade and shadow and darkness, not so much. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but modern technology may now have solved the problem. Instead of bringing the people to the light, they've figured out a way to bring the light to the people. An array of mirrors has been installed on the hillside programmed to track the sun across the sky and reflect it down into the town below. Well, not into the whole town, just into the town square. Still, that may be enough. It yeah. makes a difference, even that little bit of sunshine in this whole big dark town makes a difference? It makes a difference. This, and this is the center of the town. So here we are, and apparently it's work. The sun is now flooding down here, but it was a touch-and-go thing this morning. You can control the mirrors, but you can't control the weather. For the longest time, there was cloud cover here. When we awoke this morning, the whole valley was full of cloud, and they stalled and they stalled, and they played music, and they made speeches. And then finally, the clouds cleared, and the mirrors focused the light down here in the center of the town. A large crowd of people had gathered. They had a big party, and now they can celebrate that way for the next hundred years. Gail, Nora, Charlie. All right, Mark Phillips. For Mark Phillips, they said, let, let there be light. Be light. <laughs> <laughs> but, but don't you find, though, you are in a better mood when you have the sun and the light? Oh, you really I would be depressed with six months of no sunlight. Yeah. Don't you think that too, Charlie? Absolutely. Yes, I yeah. mean, I find I'm happier, get a better tan, all that good stuff. <laughs> it's so important for a girl. Yeah, it is. <laughs>